And Welcome, fans. Thanks for joining us for the. It is still early in the season, Greg. We'd, we'd like to think we have we teams go. figured out, but but do we really? Not at all, Kevin. This is the time period where fan bases freak oh. out because of records. It's still a lot of identity to be found with every team. So with Curry sitting on the bench, here's the group that's. Steve Kerr has on the floor. The captain out there with AI. And there's B Train. Then it's Andrew Wiggins. And it's Looney in at the five. Sabonis. And slam dunk by Sabonis. Just getting more and more court awareness and where guys are at all times is De'Aaron Fox. Jacks up a three. A three pointer is right on target. And he's not going to miss that sort of an opportunity from deep. High post shot. Oh. Off to a good start as he hits his first shot attempt. Fox pretty good when he decides to use his speed. He's going to get the defense on their heels. Out of bounds. Sacramento takes possession. I told you the king going going nowhere. And about a minute gone here in the first quarter. The going so lose. Brent, after a 16-year playoff drought, the Kings made the cut right before the losing. Team. A very gritty first-round matchup. What an unbelievable series, Kevin, that was against the Golden State Warriors. I mean, taking them to seven, ultimately they came up short, but they've got a ton to be excited about moving okay. forward. And the hey. shot goes down. Working his way. Hey, Look at that replay, ladies and gents. Let's see the replay. Let's see the replay over Fox. Look at me over here with the Curry 11 shoes. Oh, oh God, it be hitchy, and then the layup floater. And never mind. Hey, for a high percentage look, that's just smart basketball. Man, that's a, a painted possession right there, oh. a masterpiece, especially when the defense is not a factor. Fox, and the pass to Sabonis. Struggling. Back to Fox. Releases. Taylor with a rebound. Well, the mid range is where he makes the money. So when the D's slow to get out on him, always surprising to see him miss from there. The Kings have gone three of four from the field to start out the game. Monk kicks to Sabonis. Fox from outside. That falls. Nice feed that time from Sabonis. Fox has got five. And off to a strong start offensively. He's got a nice touch. Here's the captain. That's good, and he's now three for four from oh the field. You know, you're going to have success when you can start out shooting 80% from the game. So early offensively, they've been great. That's the way you like to start. And there's the foul. It'll go on the captain. That's his first foul. First foul. And just under two and a half minutes elapsed here in the first. Sabonis finds Barnes inside. And there's Murray on the assist by Barnes. That's a pretty easy opportunity for a teammate, all courtesy of Harrison Barnes. Here's the captain, guarded by Fox. Here's the captain, another three for Golden State. As hot as he's been this quarter, the game plan is simple, folks. Get him the ball and get out of the way. Got a piece of it. Murray outside. Pass to Monk. Sacramento moving it around. The wide open look here for Fox. And he can't answer back the three-pointer offline. Warriors have gone five of six so far from the field to start out the game. Here's the captain. Sacramento grabs the miss. They put up a nice win against Utah last time out. Well, you look at the points they produced in that game. Great adjustments 
on the offensive end. Yeah, never stopped working. One of those games where just everybody was making shots, continual flow, and a very professional win. He just takes advantage of the D in a way that very few players playing today can do. The captain oh scored the bucket. He's made five so far, oh, shooting oh, a very clean oh, five of seven. Wow, unconscious has he been this quarter. They're riding that hot hand. So the Kings call timeout. They're first. And a chance now to take a look at some numbers for DeMontis Sabonis. Great showing for him last season. He averaged about 19 points a game last year. 12 rebounds and 7 uh, assists. They're 15, loving how he's wow. running the show here. His sensational passing really breathing light into their offense. Something in the coach's playbook here where the schemes fire on all cylinders when he is in the game, a great conduit for them offensively. He knows where everyone is at all times. No. The shot no, by Mitchell, no, 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 no good. No, no. And that was almost a block. Still did enough to alter the shot. Yeah, altering the shot just as long as there's a miss, that kind of energy not wasted. And he's good on the three ball. Shooters tend to be hungry, but this time Herder finds an open teammate. Let's the three fly Shooters. and another three oh. for Golden State. Oh my God. State. And how about six of eight with that one? And there is no slowing down this young man. About seven seconds separating the shot and game clocks. Banked in off the glass. Mitchell's got five now. Punch, counter punch. Impressive offensive production early on. Who's going to miss first? Every time one team scores, the other team right back at you. They set the screen. Here's the captain. Lays it up and in on the nice reverse. He's got 17. And the combination of his quickness and soft touch around the rim really allows him to pull off shots like that. A lot of players don't have the reverse in their arsenal. A good game so far as we conclude the first quarter. That was a great defense by Baby Raph. Look at the defense. Ooh. The Warriors on top. They're up by two. Live from Golden One Center. You're watching 2K Sports. I mean, Andre, 87 subscribers. And if you're just tuning in, it's been a pretty even game through the first quarter. All right, we'll take a look now at how the points have been generated so far. A scoring breakdown for the Warriors. Uh, they've looked to fire as much as possible from outside the arc, and so far, they are hitting at a high clip. Well, the attack can come from a lot of ways, either execution or by just getting on the bounce and driving it in, and that's where they've been very effective tonight. Fox in the backcourt with Herder to his side. Lyles out there with McGee. And it's Vizenkov in at the small forward. That's the five out there for the Kings. And let's head over to the sideline and catch up with David Aldridge. Thank you, Kevin. Into your leg. Into your leg. Fox is out. Oh my God. Let's see the defense. Look at that. Look at Baby Bath trying to block Fox, but the injury. Oh. Oh. Man down. Baby Bath got the ball. Pass it to my baby girl, Alyssa. Alyssa, here's the three. It's good. And then here comes the injury of Fox Mead. Oh my, he's very stiff cases. The injury. The Kings are still figuring everything out. De'Aaron Fox said, we're still learning each other. 
what we're doing offensively is great. Mm -hmm. We have to prove defensively, but that'll come with time and chemistry. DeMontis Sabonis added, it's just the beginning. The more we get a feel for each other, nice. it's definitely going to get easier for us. Kevin? Yeah, a rising power. I think all of us oh on this broadcast God. agree with that. David, thank you. Well, something you never like to see, but uh, guys, he definitely looks hurt. And that's the one thing you just really can't control or, or even guard against, and that's injury. Yep, you can do all the stretching and all the strength training, eat right, train right, but at the end of the day, it's pretty random. AI right side. Sinks the three-pointer. AI's got the... Oh, my God. That was a great block, great transition. Transition. Oh, my God. Look at that. Blocking Kevin Herter. Oh, my God. Look at that. Blocking. Oh, damn. I'm playing menace, playing defense. Oh my God, that was a good block by Baby Raph. And a good pass to Baby Raph to Alyssa to hit that three. You know it's good. Lead up to 10 now for the Warriors. And Greg, we still see players embellishing contact. Is enough being done to discourage those creative flourishes? We're talking about flopping, right? I mean, we're seeing the league experiment assessing a technical free throw. It's necessary or guys will keep jerking their heads and falling down and, and who wants to see that? Sacramento making a switch here. Mitchell's checked in. Second quarter, and we're just over a minute in. Here's Vazenkov. Shot clock at six. Miles, no good. Here's the captain. Coming off a solid outing against Phoenix. Launches it. Another three for Golden State. Yeah, this looks like a pregame shoot-around with all the threes they're allowing. Pass to Sabonis. To stop the run. Two free throws coming up, and they call the shooting foul. Brent, many noteworthy second-generation stars in the NBA right now, like DeMontis Sabonis. Yeah, unbelievable. Had a chance to play against his dad, who was a, a force to be reckoned with at the center position. But DeMontis has exceeded him in some ways, like multiple all-star selections. Keegan Murray's checked in for Sacramento. Flow, Malik Monk flow, comes flow, in for Mitchell. Offensively, it's flow, been a perfect flow, quarter flow, for him. He hasn't missed a single shot. Monk, the pass to Herter, and he finishes it off with a one-handed jam. And with a strong finish, he, he finally ends that 13-0 run by Golden State. Here's the captain. Monk defending. The captain with the bucket. The captain's got 22. Uh, making the easy shots and the tough shots. He's on top of his game. And stolen by AI. I'll do it. Yes, once again, it remains perfect. Six attempts and six hits. Yeah, three consecutive field goals have come right at the rim. The D had better start buckling now. Herter with it. AI picks him up. And there's the foul. It'll go on AI. That's foul number two for him. And the next one puts him in the bonus. Barnes, he's checked in for Trey Lyles. And here are the Kings now. 17-point game. Nobody near Barnes. And once again, off the mark by Sacramento. Here's the captain. Monk defending. The captain with the bucket. Oh. <laughs> Whoa, he really got his def God, he's defending all his hair heels. Whoa, look at this. Look at this. Look at how I play with my style of play right here. Look at that. Yeah, boy, yeah. And then look at this. And then go to the... Go to the... Oh! Look at that layer.
ankles. Oh my god, there we go. Fender on his heels on that one. What a fantastic play, guys. Monk, no one around him. No good with the triple. I'm shocked that didn't turn into three points. I mean, he makes you pay on those nearly every time. And guys, he's been a one-man air raid coming at them time and time again. Kind of like he's in his living room right now. He's found a comfort zone. Once he gets that, the defense knows they're in trouble. Buries it from three-point range. A herder's a guy who can get you back in a hurry. You make one, he'll come back and get a three himself. Shot from the wing. He gets that one. And that's now 26 points for the Kings. 26 points the Kings. Look at that. Look, look at Baby Bath. All the guys know he knows it. Guys, oh, we got a little bit confused. And it caught him up for that mid range. Captain. They have a good plan going right now, and they're starting to create separation. Well, the game plan might have been good, but you have to bring it together. Right now, their chemistry is yeah, something to be there. admired. Stephen Curry, he's checked in for Golden State. The Kings trail by 21. Okay, time now for an injury report. And now, let's check in with Hall of Famer David Aldridge to see how De'Aaron Fox is doing. David. Hey, Kevin, I spoke with the head athletic trainer for the Kings. The belief right now is that it's a high ankle sprain. Now, they're still running tests, but the swelling is making that a little more complicated. There's lots of heavy heads in that training room right now. They have no idea when he'll be able to return, but it's certainly not tonight. Guys? Good information, David. He's certainly been on our minds. Now, at least, uh, Greg, we have a little more clarity. Yeah, now they have the information they need to take the best course of action. Everybody wishing the best for him. We all know how badly he wants to be out there playing alongside his teammates and competing. Barry's the long-range jumper. Nice answer back there. Love to see the competitiveness. Yeah, both teams finding ways to the three-point line and trying to take advantage from distance. Once he crosses half court, you need to stay awake because he can drop it from deep. There's a four-second difference from the shot clock to the game clock. Pass to Sabonis. Now, here's Monk. Puts up a three. Warriors with the rebound. Taylor's got six rebounds in the game. From deep three-point territory. A shot by Curry. No good. He missed that one, but I've seen him drill shots from that distance in warm-ups. Oh, no, I know he can make it, but th that's warm-ups, so maybe just a step too far. And through one half, it hasn't even been close. Warriors ahead, opening up a huge gap. It's time now to go courtside as we send you over to David Aldridge from the sideline. David, take it away. Thanks, Kevin. Alongside Steve Kerr and Coach, what is the offensive approach going to be in the second half? Well, we just have to do what we do, move the ball um, and wear them down with our ball movement, our cutting and our spacing and set better screens, all the, all the usual stuff. Yeah, it always seems to work out for you in the long run. Thanks, Steve. Back to you, Kevin. Thanks so much, Dave, for the great interview. Don't go away, folks. We'll be back for the second half of basketball right after this. Hello, everybody. We're here to break it all down, and through the first half of play, it's a very commanding lead for the Golden State Warriors. The way this has looked, this must feel like a shoot-around to them. They're jogging to spots and getting open. I think I could even get open right now, Shaq. Kenny, we've seen you run to the board. You're not getting open. 
And now let's take a moment to look at the upcoming games on the schedule. And taking a look at the Kings, they started off the season the way they want it. Now you build off that win. Try to generate momentum. Stay undefeated as long as possible. Yeah, impressive showing in their first game. We'll see if they can roll into a streak here. That is more than enough of us. Let's send you back to the game. Kevin Harlan and crew with the second half. And with a big gap on the scoreboard, the second half begins with very different goals for these teams. One side trying to mount a comeback, one side trying to protect their lead. You know, the captain has been exceptional here, guys. Really impressed with the shot selection through the first half, just taking what he can get from the defense. Yeah, I'm thinking back to the first half and wondering, did he take a low percentage shot? Everything efficient. So for the Golden State Warriors right now, Kevon Looney out there with Taylor, then it's AI, then there's Stephen Curry, and it's Wiggins in at the three. Murray, no good. Warriors leading by 22. Let's look at the stats for Stephen Curry. He's coming off an excellent season. Averaged 29 points a game, six assists, and six rebounds. And you look at the numbers he's been putting up, fantastic scoring production from him. Yeah, hard to ask for anything more at this point. He's really stepped up, and he's really delivered. Rejected by Taylor. AI left side. And a great assist by Curry as that one goes in. And that's 21 points for AI. And Brent, Steph Curry has so much love for this game. He's a true ambassador for the sport. Well, with Steph, anything that he touches seems to turn to gold. I mean, he, he loves hoops no matter what it is, supports the women's games. He's involved with youth athletics in the Bay Area and back home in Charlotte. And this guy just loves to see the sport grow as much as he has. The pass to Herter. And stolen by AI. Here's Wiggins. Again, Golden State. Well, the talk at halftime must have been a good one right now. Three straight buckets to start the quarter. The Kings have gone 0-3 and are still looking for that first. bucket here in the second half no one near Herder as he lets it fly Sacramento again missing Curry outside it's the three-point bomb Curry's got two now from beyond the arc in the third for the Warriors Monk with the bounce pass. Here's Sabonis. Cans it from short range. Sabonis has got 11. Disappointing as a player to have such a great game and still be trailing. Not over yet, though. Monk for three. And it's Looney with the rebound. Golden State's gotten the three ball working for them in the second half. They've hit three out of three shots from long range. Taylor kicks to Curry. Just five on the clock. Fires for three. And DeMontis Sabonis pulls it down. And the great shooters know when they've got enough opening to go for the three. I didn't think it was a bad choice on that possession. Here's Curry. Buries the jumper to finish the break. He's got 14. You now that basket must be widening out right now. And he's making almost every shot he's putting up this quarter. And now we've got some time to check in from the sideline. What do you got for us, D.A.? Thank you, Kevin. De'Aaron Fox is taking his game to new heights. Coach Mike Brown says the exciting part about Foxy is he's just starting to scratch the surface of who will end up being in this league. His feel and skill set are both off the charts. His speed is unbelievable, and his ability to get his own shots at his size is second to none. Kevin? David, I agree. He is special. Hey, thanks for the report. 
And there's the whistle. Screen. Illegal screen. Let's pause to that take way. a look at the teams that were tops in field goal percentage last season. The Kings in second. Hard to shoot the ball any better than they did. I mean, they weren't the best in the league, but, man, they were right there. Lyles checked in for Sacramento. Mitchell comes in for Harrison Barnes. Curry fires from way outside. Monk grabs the board. Sacramento's gotten blank from three-point land so far in the third. Still 0 for 3. One ten left to play here in the third. Lyles with a wide open look. His three pointers off the mark. And on an open look like that, he's very gifted at making the weak coverage pay. And it just seems that every pass they make is leading to a score. Just great ball movement. Pass to Sabonis. 44 seconds left to play in the third. Passes to Herter. Sabonis is screen on Wiggins. Herter, no good. Well, they've been better than good on the glass today, and there is a glaring discrepancy between these two teams in that area. Curry's shot is good. And Steph weaving around the contact and defeats that coverage. Guys, they're looking for a spark here. Yeah, a cold stretch offensively. For sure. Monk for three. And once again, off the mark by Sacramento. Yeah, pretty safe to say that this is the kind of game that you just want to flush as soon as you get done with it. Good on the shot. And their balanced effort at both ends has hushed this crowd. Well, all night long, in control of the pace, and you don't want to let go of that rope right now. And I like the subtle adjustment he made to create a little space for that one. Yeah, that's an awesome finish there for sure. Not allowing that big guy to have his way or, or alter the shot. And so it's the Golden State Warriors way out in front. Their lead at 38 points as we close out the quarter. And with as many three-pointers as they've drained, it's easy to see why they're on the cusp of a blowout. We'll get right back to the action when we return. And while we can, now let's take a look at today's State Farm assist of the game. And the definition of teamwork right there, guys. I mean, what great communication between them, and what a beautiful feed. You know, coaches talk about it all the time, but to be able to play with that kind of feel, nice play collaborating, improvising, and organic. And we reach the fourth quarter in a game that may be already out of hand. Kevin Herter is out there with Mitchell. Then it's Sabonis. Then it's Trey Lyles. And it's Vizenkov in at the small forward position. So that's the five in the game for Sacramento. And those aren't the type of three-point opportunities that you can allow in the NBA. Mitchell wide open. Tried to come right back with the three of his own, but it's no good. Here's AI. Another three for Golden State. And really, as the three-pointers keep dropping, you get the sense that the frustration is mounting for the defense. To the inside, Herter, and the layup is good after a nice lead pass. Timeout, timeout. They are just killing them on the interior. Started. Timeout called the Warriors. Golden State's gone two for two from three-point land to start the fourth quarter. Three-pointer. Knocks down the three ball. 29 points for the captain. Defensively, they just look out of sync, not closing out on the threes in time. Here's Mitchell. Rebounded by the captain. Golden State's gotten off to a great start from three-point range in the final quarter. They're a perfect three of three. 
for the three. Another three for Golden State. That's a dozen straight points coming off the triple. Here's Mitchell, and they cash in right away with the quick shot. A little over a minute and a half of the fourth quarter gone now. Here's AI. Another three for Golden State. And how about the last five made shots? Have all been threes. The defense is just giving up a barrage. Sabonis, the pass to Lyles. Here's Vazenkov. Rebounded by the captain. The captain's got four rebounds in this game. Here's Pajemski. No good that time. Kings have gone two for five on field goal attempts in the fourth quarter. That one's good, Vazenkov. Vazenkov's got his first bucket of the game, and he's on the board for three. Pajemski's shot is good. Yeah, the D has not been able to keep the ball out of the paint at that end of the floor. Mitchell is double. Just over two and a half minutes played now here in the final quarter of regulation. Herter, no good. The Warriors have gotten it done so far from the field here in the fourth, going six for seven. It's good. Pushing the action, getting others involved. He does it time and time again. Nice to play with a point guard that takes pride in playmaking. It makes you move around just a little bit faster to get open spots. And it's Mitchell missing. On offense, here are the Warriors. They're on a 19-7 run. And he drives in, and the shot goes in. And really the story of this second half, one team getting the shots they want, the other not so much. Yeah, this team did something at halftime, going from a mild-mannered, half-court executing team to some heroic shooting in the second half. Here's a bonus. Tries ah! again. And he lays it up and in. Sabonis has a great nose to rebound the ball, and then he just sent it back in. There's a minute 34 left to play in the final quarter. Fires the three. It's hauled in by the Kings. And as we head to the final buzzer here, a crushing blowout. Big time dominance, and, and this will go in the record books as a golly win for the Warriors. It was a standout performance across the board. I mean, it, it was like watching a cat play with a mouse. They, they were able to do more or less whatever they wanted. And so with this, they'll end up with their second win on the year. And they'll take the win tonight, setting the tone in the first matchup of this four-game season series. And you know, when you look at the huge impact he had, just a monster game for the captain. Now, with all these assists, it's obvious how well that he can see the entirety of the floor out there. If an easy bucket is to be had, he'll find it. Down low. There's 42 seconds left in the game. Green, he's checked in for Kevon Looney. He's off on the first. first. Good on the second free throw. There's 38 seconds left in the fourth.
32 seconds left in the fourth quarter. Sabonis against Taylor. Nifty move. Second shot opportunity. Rejected by Taylor. Here's the captain. Launches a three. The shot off that time. So we see the Warriors taking the game here. A resounding victory for them. And Greg in enemy territory, no less. And that's exactly right. But with the way they controlled the game and, and just completely took the crowd out of it, that's how to get it done on the road. And now we'll send it over to David Aldridge, who is standing by courtside. David. Hey, Kevin, thank you. Andrew, an impressive win for you guys. How will you look back on tonight? Uh, it feels great, you know. You know, I think the whole team played great. You know, we shared the ball. Uh, we grabbed rebounds. We made big possessions. You know, so I think it was a great game. Hey, Andrew, congrats again. Thanks for your time. Back to you, Kevin. Thank you, David. And that about wraps it up for Brett Berry, Greg Anthony, and David Aldridge. This is Kevin Harlan along with our 2K Sports crew. As we leave you with our New Balance player of the game, the captain.